Yo, 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 what's happening, YouTube? I know, I'm back. It's been a while. There's been quite a lot of things going off. So, where have I been? What I've been doing? Why have I not been uploading? With start, let's begin. First, I was uploading Valorant videos, but they, it kind of fell off. There's like a little bit of toxicity. Um, Things like that, that would just kind of made it pointless to keep playing. Like too many Smurf accounts, I lost interest. Like for, some games are like forty minutes, which I'm okay with, but I, I just kind of losing interest in it. Obviously, then I had a lot of university work, um, so I, I've been finishing that because it was my last what last two months past. So now I'm officially finished. So. You should see me upload more content onto YouTube. You should be see me streaming a little bit more just because obviously that's all finished, which is a good thing. Also, we've been doing the gaming room, as you can see. We've been remodeling the gaming room, moving it up and down. It was upstairs, now it's downstairs. Obviously, we've been doing a little bit of reconstruction things, things like that. So, you might see an odd few Valorant videos. I'm not, I might react to different type of Valorant content rather than playing it I don't really know yet I'm just trying to figure that out but for right now we're obviously we're streaming a lot of Diablo 4 because Diablo 4 came out and obviously you're gonna see probably a lot more uploads of Diablo 4 I'm gonna try and make them shorter I might do some like TikToks, some shorts things like that just to try and build up an audience but also my like 15 minute videos do better than my two hours because I upload my full stream which is handy but obviously people are rather watched 15 minute video than a two hour video like off the rip not knowing who it is so let's talk about Diablo 4 Boom. right I was a big Diablo 3 player played a little bit of Diablo 2 way back in the day Diablo 4 came out and we had this understanding of what it was going to be because we, we kind of played immortal so it's still open world so it's like right okay we can we can kind of grasp of what the open world was and i think if you played the beta the closed beta the early access beta and the server slam you played the same uh, you played fractured peaks which is the first like areas so many times it was ridiculous it was crazy but at least you knew how once once you got into the full game you kind of knew where to go and you could blitz through fractured peaks but it kind of i think for anybody who played fractured peaks and whoever played all the beaters and stuff you kind of <sighs> i wish i would have just not done the fractured peak ones i wish i had just done and what i mean by that is like not complete the whole map and everything again because i did it on every single uh, beater what i wish i did was just blitz through the campaign what i know now because one the campaign's interesting but you have to i think diablo made this like little i think it's like an eight part series on youtube it's the book of it's the book of something i can't remember that gives you all the information you need to know how obviously lilith and anarius is before Diablo 3 so obviously if you're you could it, it explains everything so good it explains how all the demons came to be the greater evils the angels how all that came to be and who's in charge and who did what uh, so I'd, I'd I'd go advise if I if I remember it, I'll put it in the link in the comment uh, in the description of what the books called like the the little series it's, it's fun it's a good little storyteller so but anyway, so what I would know is if I would have just blitzed through the campaign. Because the campaign that I know now, it's not it's not like the funnest. And I mean that by some of the missions and some of the areas in Diablo 4, there's no, no monsters whatsoever, which is kind of weird. So sometimes we're running through a mission and there'll be zero monsters for like... I don't know, like, say you're running through, there's a part where you're running through a temple. I think it's like an oasis temple. 
and there's at least like six long rooms, corridors and stuff that have no monsters in whatsoever, which is kind of annoying because at that point it just feels like there's, they were just like, eh, we're not going to stick anything in here. It, it kind of feels lazy, but then obviously this brings back to, we'll, we'll get back to horses because it brings horses into it and we notice something when you're playing the game. <laughs> Yeah, we don't edit. We just we we're sneezing, we're sneezing on this this video. Uh, so <laughs> that's me. So I think the game kind of forces you. It wants you to do the campaign straight away. It's probably quicker to do the campaign straight away. You don't get anything great from the campaign. Like some acts have. <laughs> Some acts have, like, four missions in and stuff. So, I was disappointed because I'd, I'd reached max... Well, I'd not reached max level, but I'd reached 50. Just just in Fractured Peaks, doing everything. Collecting everything. Little statues, doing all side quests. I might have, like, missioned up into, like, Scos Glen and a, a little bit below. But no, like, main story missions areas. So, we did that. And then... I did the campaign and obviously you have to do the campaign to unlock world bosses right so you have to finish the game to get everything so obviously world tier three everything so so it kind of it's easier just to do it off the rip finish doing your story quests don't do don't go around doing all the dungeons we made the same mistake because a lot of side quests take you to dungeons so you might as well just get all the XP and all the... Instead of replaying the dungeons to get the, the loot, you might as well just do it once. Then, obviously, the next biggest issue is once you do venture out, obviously doing the campaign, you don't unlock your horse until Act 3. This is also why I think it pushes you to do the campaign because some of the areas on the map like the actual map have no mobs in it no ads no, nothing no monsters no no nothing so i think their way of me personally of being a li little lazy is then obviously putting a horse in it so it's like oh well you can traverse the land a bit faster it's like okay wicked like it's pointless the horses are good in the aspect of you need them because you're traversing otherwise you're going to fast travel everywhere but at the start you need your horse and it's quicker to get to things if like because some things are on like time limits and stuff so that's, that's pretty good but it just kind of feels lazy with me you go certain areas there's nothing in it so that, that that was the next like big revelation was like oh wow okay so it kind of forces you to do the campaign because obviously everything after is that's where Diablo starts everyone knows like once the campaign's done once you hit like 50 that's where Diablo actually starts happening Diablo 3 Diablo 2 whatever so we already knew that coming into it but we wasn't expecting it to be like I was expecting to go oh I'll just I'll get to level 50 on here and then sorry if you hear my dog barking and then go straight like into the campaign it'd be easy it's just kind of pointless because obviously the campaign scales to you so mm, is is it a little easier when you max level of course because you've got all your like stupidly high damage skills so you could blitz through the campaign nothing was hard of the campaign nothing no boss was hard nothing which was surprising and quite annoying to me because it's like everything's everything's super easy even like past diablos had some somewhat difficult bosses in maybe and it's it's like okay so the campaign was the easiest obviously a lot of people just skip the cutscenes like you only need to watch a few cutscenes so that that was kind of pointless then what we learned is once we'd finished the game and then transitioned into dungeons nightmare dungeons world bosses like this so we, we had an issue with world bosses where 
we'd go toward bosses and there would be some some world bosses not a sharper because that's fine but i think oh uh, what's the other one there's a big like i don't know it's like a floaty i don't know it looks like the angel of death like floats around you well, we have to kill him but at some point he spawns two little like minion things that are tethered to him and you, if you hit those you do more damage and his like stun break bar at the top when that goes full obviously it stuns and you can pump more damage into it everyone had this weird thing of like no one would attack him everyone would be attacking bosses with shields up and, and things and we'll get into that as well because you notice it all the time and so that's another big thing I'm like I mean, these people are like 50, 60, 70 and we're they've still not got the grasp on how to do these things so world bosses became an issue nightmare dungeons if you're like world tier 3 or tier 4 started to figure out that you might as well just run a normal dungeon I'm like I'm getting more loot and I know other people are getting more like sacred loot and like ancestral stuff just doing normal dungeons rather than doing nightmare dungeons which is so backwards I think obviously they addressed it in the, the talk that they did the other day but so th that that's the thing which is crazy so then We've got dungeons that are a little messed up. Going to the PvP thing, and I had like a stupidly long conversation. Well, it wasn't a long conversation. Uh, I posted it on uh, Diablo 4 community, like a group. There's like th hundreds of thousands of members. And I was like, I was like, oh, I walked into a PvP area. I was like, just, just to get a grasp on it, I was like, awesome. I'm level, at this point, I was like level 52, so I'm not really high. And then, obviously, doing it, just trying to figure it out, I come across a rogue, I'm like, okay, wicked, right? So, I'm like, I think they were like 54, I was like, so they're not too high, so I was like, awesome, right? Melts me, in about, in literally two hits, melts me. And I was like, right, okay, Is it might be my setup, might be my build, let's figure it out. I was like, okay. Literally, Went to a different PvP area because there's, I think there's two. There might be three. Went doing PvP stuff, collecting uh, like crystals and stuff. Same same thing. Came across like maybe like a 52 rogue, melted me in two hits. Couldn't freeze them because they've got two dash, they've got concealment, and they've got sh like a shadow step thing. Couldn't freeze them as a sorcerer. So I'm like, right, okay. I'm not doing any damage they're melting me completely melting me so I was like right wicked carried on with the game but went back into pvp same thing kept happening like anybody else like druid barbarian i, I could like you know what i mean i could pump some damage kill them rogues not a chance not killed one rogue and i've played a ton of pvp all right so i was like wicked let me just go into this this diablo thing and <laughs> literally it, it kind of caused like a rift uh, and so I was like I was like okay this is this is my issue I'm going into PvP I'm like I'm doing well on against like druids and barbs and necros but I keep getting melted by rogues I was like I was like they probably like they probably need a nerf and and then I was like but I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I said, I think they need a nerf. I think they're probably going to get a nerf. I don't, I don't think it's fair in PvP. Literally. But I've never seen so many fucking babies in the Diablo 4 community. Like, oh my god. Like, I must have pissed, like, every rogue off. Like, people would come in and be like, in the, in the chat, and then the comment on the post and everything would be like, <coughs> what I had was get good right or you've got no skill right so i'm like okay i can see where this is going this is gonna be a toxic a bunch of babies crying right or it'd be like oh this is just like a stupid mindset to have because of stop it uh, it's like this this is a stupid mindset to have because of like you're just crying because you've came across a rogue at a certain point and now 
you just you can't beat it so like you just just get good with it get good with how you need to be and I was just like oh my god and then then what I noticed was some other people were coming in but like they'd be like no you're 100% true like rogues are like too broke for PvP especially if you've got a team of four rogues running around everything's broke broke I was like okay wicked so these people obviously are, are, are talking about what's best for the game and like balance and it's like okay this needs balance and this I've gone against this this is what I found out not just one time multiple times this is what I found out obviously after doing a little bit more research and chatting to people I found that everyone who had like the most toxic mentality in the comments and the, the craziness that was happening about just the just saying just stupid things like oh this is like a, such a narrow-minded thing like you're a baby you got beat by one row you just you haven't figured out how to uh, you haven't figured out the right build or how to play against the row I was like what the f like so I'm not an incompetent player here like like it's like no one read it. It's like I'm doing good against everyone else, but I'm not doing good against rogues. And it's not because I'm not got the right build. I'm like they just two shot you. So it's like, and someone came in and was like, "That's true. I play a rogue. I'm low level, like lowish level, being able to go into PP." And she's like, and I think it was a girl. And she was like, "I'm melting people. I'm melting everybody." So yeah, they need a nurse. And I was like, right, I'm gonna test something then because everyone, everyone, all, all everyone's doing is just being like. Your typical get good, get good. So one, so one reference to like Call of Duty or something. We've all and this is gonna be a little tangent off really, but we've all been again. I've been in like around Call of Duty for so long. Someone was like, yeah, well, it's not about what level you are. It's about skill. They were like, I could, I could. It's like it's why like when he he literally said he's like one of those people like douchey, pe like glasses, like like not as in like not like sunglasses, like Oakleys like tinted like wife beater American flag on it absolute fucking waff, like waffle tard literally his, his words were oh it's like when I play Call of Duty and I'm against high level people in lobby and I shit all over him I was like I was like one what's this got to do with Diablo and I was like two I was like I've been around people like that because I've played Call of Duty since freaking the big red one, right? Played all the multiplayer. I know people like that, like the ego of, and he won't shit everyone. He won't shit on everybody on COD. He's probably the shittiest person at COD. But never mind. So he did that, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna test something because PVP is important. I was like, right, I've got a rogue. I'm gonna get him to 50, where it's just like a standard, a standard like I'm halfway through 50, right? So I did that, went into PvP, two shot everybody. Literally. Just I just walked around and melted people. Even people who were grouping of twos melted. I was like, yes, they need a nerf. Posted it. Posted a clip. And that. And people like pe the rogues came out of the woodwork again and was just like like it's so offended and I was just like this is beyond a joke like everyone's here to help the game and you're like don't take away my stuff don't take away my stuff and it's like babies like get over it what is what's that mentality everyone's trying to do the best for the game but you you because we same saw the same shit in destiny destiny 2 is how it broke everyone was like oh and like everyone had an OP moment every character and each time that people called that character out everyone lost the shit but anyway so pvp is a little broke at the minute like yesterday i played a little bit because i've been doing i've been leveling obviously my wife she was leveling her druid up to 50 so while she was doing that i was jumping into pvp I was running around, and then i was like i did a few solo things like wicked handing in and then obviously i got ganked by a team of four all in the same guild or like I was just like nah I'm dipping out of this this is kind of silly which you shouldn't be able to do should it should level PvP should be like a separate thing you go in I shouldn't a 50 shouldn't be fighting against a 70 right just pointless so 
my thing is just wait for the PvP to be max level and then go into it things like that so obviously that was an issue nightmare dungeons was an issue trying to do events still an issue people come and they just don't know what they're doing and it's mind-blowing you could sit back and there'd be a, a, a bubble around a boss that you can't you can't take his health off and you'll see like six people just shooting at the boss just hitting the boss thinking they're gonna burn the boss damage down but anyway so right now it's in it's in like a bit of a state in terms of balancing and what's looting and some things are glitching out i'm hard crashing quite a bit oh, this is on xbox uh didn't do it yesterday what i've noticed as well i don't know if anybody else has noticed this i on xbox though series x and s is sometimes when you fast travel to towns or go into it you'll get a uh, like I don't know like graphic tearing and the the buildings would like shift a little bit like the shadows and then start flickering i don't know if that, that's a continuous issue but that's that's obviously been happening um so i am looking forward to seasons uh which is going to be interesting because i'll probably have a seasonal character as well i don't know what it stores me personally i think they need to hurry up and bring another character out and also hopefully it's uh like a light character like a crusader or something like that or a cleric i don't know something on the light and light aspect like the shop needs to go like it's i'm pretty sure it's like 30 dollars for one outfit it's kind of stupid like lower it a little bit like there's not i paid like a hundred and something dollars for the game and you want to try and like make me well not make me but you want to put it on there as like oh you want to buy i don't know you want to buy a, a freaking skirt and a shirt that's just a different thirty dollars thirty dollars thirty dollars like so the shops like crazy it's a typical blizzard like shops crazy but right now after i think like I say, I'm 57. That's not far. I need to grind. I've just been helping people get to max level so we can all do the end game together. Right now, I'm enjoying the game, but I'm also kind of not. I'm kind of getting a burnout a little bit because of, I think, of how many times I've done it and how I'm helping people. And I've not really. I should be max level on my sorcerer, but I've spent like three days helping other people get to the end game, which I don't mind doing. I love helping. I love helping my stream, my chat, everybody. I love helping get to it, but you get that burnout a little bit. So, yeah, that happened. And I don't know. I give it like a solid seven out of ten. It fluctuates between six and seven. I think obviously they can do a lot better. I think the campaign was pointless. Like the the empty space of some things is kind of silly. Uh, the laziness on dungeon monsters. You either fight a blood bishop. I think we did like six, seven dungeons last night, and five of them I fought a bloody bull, a blood bishop, which is ridiculous. Like. Like they couldn't. I get there's quite a few dungeons on the map, but you're telling me you couldn't just sit there and make a unique boss for each dungeon, and not like change it. It, it becomes boring. It's like they're not difficult. Even even world tier three with nightmare dungeons, because obviously nightmare dungeons have different. Uh, oh, what they call fuck things on them like enemies will be like i had like hell rifts appear in dungeons so they have, they have different different things that help the enemies and make the dungeon harder not harder so world tier three if, if people are worried going from world tier two to world tier three and being like can i do it solo yeah there's no you, you there's no worry about world tier three world tier three 
is kind of like the the gateway to level up quicker but not be difficult i think world tier 4 is going to be harder so until that we'll figure that, that out and find out okay uh what what will world tier 4 have in in store me personally i don't think you, it should be i think they should have done more than well tier four. like for me the what made um diablo 3 so much more replayable is one you have like torment and then like torment so many levels into torment like 10 or 11 or 12 i can't remember it was but you'd have to do a certain many of torment to unlock the next one so you kind of you would run through a character because it was easy to run through a character on like let's say torment 5 and then you'd start a new character and run it on torment god knows what so that made made it fun to go through it on here it's like okay world tier 3 not that difficult world tier 4 probably is going to be difficult i think they probably need to keep if they want to keep the world tiers that's fine but obviously just implement a little bit more difficulty things like that um obviously i know they're sorting the gems out because it's a bitch because you pick up so many freaking gems that take up so much inventory space i know if you've got items in your inventory that has sockets on just stick your gems into those sockets but i don't need any more gems like i have so many in my stash that i don't need a, so they're, they're making it a currency so it, like that type of feature so it goes into a separate thing which is good that's good because that that's just a pain in the arm so I don't know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I thought I'd just give everyone a little update. It's like a 20 minute video of me ranting, talking, things what are going wrong, what I've noticed in Diablo, where I've been. We will just keep uploading Diablo videos for now. We'll probably do some reactions of people dying on hardcore. Hardcore's a shit show right now. Like just because the game has a few bugs in it, you kind of, I think I've died like at least three times to so game crashes things like that but i think that's what's the fun of hardcore for me once i hit i think i'm like 30 something on hardcore once i hit 100 on hardcore done not going to keep on playing that one character through hardcore just because the game's kind of iffy at the minute on the connection wise but anyway that's where i've been that's what i'm doing keep updated i'll be streaming again today because it's sunday so day off so i'll whip on the stream really quick i'll make some shorts my TikTok, my YouTube, uh, yeah, my TikTok, my Twitch, my Twitter, every every social that you can find me on will be in the description. Uh, yep, feel free to come by the stream later on tonight. Uh, later on tonight, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Much love, and I will see you later, people. Peace.